Welcome friends, uh, for us with you from Shastek International, we build warehouses with a lot of passions. Uh, so this video, uh, we are explaining about this uh, co column concreting uh, of this uh, our warehouse. So uh, let's uh, look at these uh, uh, columns lines. We have already concreted all these columns, so I can explain how we are concreting. So here you can see, uh, you know that when we have almost uh, flooded all these area. So now we uh, remove all these uh, soils around these foundations. So then after that one survey came and he marked all this, uh, he marked this uh, co column positions about these uh, foundations. Then as per that positions, uh, we put this uh, form work and today uh, they did the, uh, our, our construction team did this uh, concreting. So here we almost, uh, we uh, clearly remove all this uh, uh, clay and everything and uh, now we are going to apply this uh, bituminous uh, protection also. Look at these areas, uh, still you can see the uh, clay, still some, uh, some sort of dampness you can, uh, you can find it. Anyhow, once uh, these uh, footings become dry, uh, we are going to start. Uh, we are going to apply this uh, bituminous protection. Almost all the footings uh, in these lines uh, is finished, and that means marking and uh, uh, bituminous uh, protections uh, is uh, almost finished. So it is ready to uh, put the foam work in these areas. These are the columns uh, for the pump rooms. So uh, as as usual what we did for uh, that previous uh, uh, columns we remove all the soils uh, all around the foundation uh, all around the uh, footings then we we pay, uh, we put this uh, bituminous uh, bituminous layer as a membrane protection look at this uh, column neck uh, here after the uh, uh, footings, after the footings, concrete and uh, everything, uh, uh, usually uh, we are marking um, these uh, uh, boundaries. That means end points of these uh, columns. Then we will uh, make uh, we will uh, we will make a rectangle. That means we will make a rectangle as like a um, box. Then uh, as per that one, we are uh, putting this uh, uh, form work. So there won't be any mistakes or anything, uh, anything during this uh, concreting. So like that, uh, usually we are doing. So this area, uh, almost, uh, not almost, uh, this concreting is completed. These uh, all these columns. This is the uh, inside column. Here also we mark. So tomorrow we are going to fix uh, form work for all these uh, uh, remaining columns. Look at these uh, footings. Actually concreting is uh, not about the uh, uh, not about the materials only like uh, I can say of course everyone is using uh, that K for the found for the footings uh, K300 like uh, standard graded SRC concrete and the uh, steel also as per the specification and everything but it is not about the materials it is about the uh, process also uh, cause uh, our workers uh, that means our construction team has a has a good experience in this field so i can explain this one look at this uh, what we did here uh, with the help of the surveyor we mark all the four corners okay you can uh, you can see that one uh, that uh, marker uh, that point then as per that one uh, we mark all the four corners of this uh, column nugs then uh, we put the uh, plywoods around that one so um, with taking as a reference of that plywood uh, we gonna put this uh, form work for this uh, uh, these columns so like that uh, we are doing so what I am trying to say it is not only about the materials it is about the process also this is a concrete pump uh, we used for uh, this column concreting. Uh, the concreting is almost finished, so uh, they are just uh, uh, doing the cleanings and everything. They are uh, uh, starting their uh, return. So uh, that's all for today. Uh, keep watching.
uh, keep sharing thank you